Hello and welcome back. So we did add one function for access in here and we need to now test it to see if it works. So what are we going to test first? Now the thing is I need to log in as a lower being because right now I'm logged in as the super admin so everything is accessible to me. And so let's try and mute something, right? So in this case, let's see what a student should be restricted to. Okay. So for example, um, these add new class and all that should be restricted to lecturers. And also editing and deleting should be a lecturer's thing. So what I will do is I want to put an if statement on these buttons right there. So let's go to this file right here and this is the classes view if i am not mistaken this one is classes where are we classes dot ink so if i come in here this is where i have the edit and trash that's the delete so i want to put an if statement on both of these so i will put that like this so php tag and I'll just say oath like so, and then access, access like that. And in this access, I will say lecturer like this, and then I will close that. So it's as simple as that. So both of these require lecturer access. Let me put end if right here. I didn't put an if statement over there. So let's fix that. I will put an if right here. If like so. Okay. Good. So if this is true, if this returns true, display these guys. So back here, I'm going to refresh and an syntax error and expected token and if. Okay. Now that's because I forgot a full colon here my bad okay refresh and there we go so as you can see nothing has changed which is good which means i do have access even though this is written lecturer and i'm a super admin so which means it recognizes that super admin uh still has access where lecturer has access so now let's just log in as a student so i'm going to go to one of these i want a student with some classes so Bob Marley, let me see, it's bob at yahoo.com. I'll copy this. The password is password for everyone, so this is easy to deal with. I'll log out and I'll put their email there and put my password there. Okay, so everything looks the same. If I go to classes, uh, second class, and let me go to students, uh, yes, and Bob Marley. This is my profile, right? I'm Bob. I could have clicked here easily. So here, if I click on classes, you see that uh, those things have disappeared here. I don't have the edit and delete here at all. I also don't have, I also shouldn't see the add new here, okay? Now, it's not enough to simply limit this because Let's come here for a second. If I come down here, this is simply a link to a specific location. So let me show you what I mean here. If I remove this and that, okay, and refresh, okay. So I am a student here, and if I do click delete, it will ask me, are you sure you want to delete this class now this is asking me this question because i've entered this link in there so keep in mind this is just a link so copy that and let's go back here now let's put back what we had so come back here and refresh now i don't have the delete button here but i can still just enter the delete question uh, link in the url like this and you see i am now able to delete if i click delete here i will be able to delete this 
So what I need is to completely have no access to this at all as well before I limit the access here. So the way to do this access thing is to first deal with the uh, situation where I can see these buttons deny me access that way and then uh, remove the buttons later on. So let's see how we can do that. Now here, I will click on delete. I'm a student, I shouldn't be able to see this, but I am able to see this. Now, this is not where the rabbit hole ends. We have to go a bit further because it's very possible that if I know the link right here, uh, even though this is a form, I can create my own form and submit the information to this link with the ID and it will be able to delete even without having access to this user interface. So what I want at this point is to be able to click delete, but for as long as I am a student, it should deny me that delete. So back here, let's go to this link where it says classes delete. So this is the controller that's classes. And then we go to the delete function. So I'm going to go to classes here and let's go to delete shall we let's edit and let's delete right here okay so here if you're not logged in it redirects you to the login page and doesn't do any of this so what i want to do here is to simply ignore all this code if i don't have the right access so i can just do this here let me remove the php tags like so. Okay, so if auth access a lecturer like this, okay. Let me close that. And I will move everything inward, like so. So this will only happen if I'm a lecturer. Otherwise, none of this will happen. Now, this part where we read the this and where we read the actual information is fine so let me move this up here up to this point right there actually actually let me undo this a second uh, let's do this uh -huh. so instead of having this thing here it's because we're only concerned when we post something okay so i will just put an and here and then move this into here like this let me remove that if statement like so okay so this delete only happens if there was something posted and i have the right access here everything else can remain the same so let's try and see if i can delete second class as a student so let me delete and as you can see it keeps coming back to this i i can't delete this at all so if I come back, it go, takes me to that. Oops, document expired. Try again, resend, and I'm back here. Let's try and cancel. Let's go to my profile again, classes. And right here, I want to click delete and delete. So I can't do it. This is what it should be. And then I can move backward from here to limit access. So now I want to limit access to the whole page here for the delete okay so now how do i limit access to that delete page well let's see here the delete page comes in here okay so it could be um up to you to choose what you want to do here you can put an access denied uh, thing if you want that's up to you or you could send the user to the login page if they want to delete this page here so that they can log in as an admin if they want to or you can just put access denied so let's try the access denied route shall we so what we will do here is if uh, we can just put an if statement here so I will get this again and put it here just say if lecturer like that 
let's put the bracket and now I will put an else statement here like this then let me move uh, this whole thing inward like this and then this time I'll get the view and I don't need any data there so I will come here and say view and say access denied like so now we don't have this access denied view or do we no we do not so I'm going to right click on views new file and just put uh, access denied here uh, now I want it to have all the uh, all the views let's go to the home page home view I'm just going to get all this here I want it to still have the menu uh, come down here let's have the footer as well copy entitled paste and then right in the middle here we can put some content so I'm just going to center this and put an h1 tag and then here or maybe actually let's add a class here and say alert danger and then in here we can just say access denied and let's save this as access denied hyphen denied dot php yes i think we need the view dot view dot php like that save good so let's come back here and refresh this page resend and it says page not found hmm so why is page not found so it's access I think I missed something here so let me rename this I put one C it should have been double C let me save that and let's try again resend good okay so you have access denied there that's a entirely up to you how you want to design this page so you can put your emojis there and so on just to make it a bit more lively yeah but you can design the page as you wish so let me go back here try again document expired what was the other page here uh, I can't find the page let me go to the home page let me go to my profile and classes so now if I click delete I come here access denied now if for some reason this wasn't there or I send a post uh, request to try and trick the system it will still fail as you saw last time and then finally we can hide these here but before hiding those we need to do the same to the edit here so let's come to the edit as well so I'll go to my um, let's see here uh, wait a minute if I say call no let me not bother with that you can design these things as you wish uh, let me go to the edit version here this is classes.php and I'll copy this and let's go to the edit so this is the edit function and let's do exactly the same thing so I will put this here and then copy the else statement copy that so I'll move this inward else statement move that here cool and in the same way I will copy this mm, wait a minute copy and I will put that uh, where do I put that right here so we'll say the and there and paste like so so let's go to the edit and see what happens access denied 
Good, now I can happily hide this without any fear that somebody could um, circumvent these measures. So let me go to, let me copy that. So actually we already had this. This is classes.include. All I need to do is undo like this. Good. And then if I come down here, now this is hidden. Okay, so this is how you add these privilege levels. Now, to confirm that this is working fine, let me go back to being a uh, an admin. And then password. So let me go to classes. And let's try to delete a class. And I have the access. So let me try this on a student's page. Click delete. I have access. Okay. Let me click edit. I click edit. Let's see if I can add a two here. Save. And there we go. I managed to change it. Let me change it back and save. So as you can see now, as a super admin, I have access. I'll also have access if I was a lecturer, but as a student, I don't. So this is the main principle of how we're going to hide access to a lot of things. So I'll see you in the next video where we continue this. At least now you know the basic principle towards it. I'll see you then.